Hey everyone, my name is Miguel Quiles. I am a Pro Photo Legend of Light. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about five different ways that I use a beauty dish in the studio. The first way that I love to use a beauty dish is in a clamshell setup without diffusion. And so let me show you guys what that looks like. We have the Profoto B1 with one of their OCF beauty dishes. It's a uh, two foot beauty dish, super nice for creating this really contrasty light to bring out skin texture when you're taking photos. So what I like to do is I like to have this directly in the center. This is kind of like a pseudo clamshell setup because I actually don't have a reflector below. I'm actually gonna be using this black table, which hopefully will be able to absorb some of the light and deepen a little bit of the shadows that are gonna be uh, created on her face, under her nose, under her lip, under her chin. It's gonna hopefully bring out a lot more uh, detail in her face. This is one of the ways that I love to use it. And so um, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's shoot that first look and see what it looks like. The second way that I love to use beauty dishes is with diffusion. And so with this OCF beauty dish, I'm gonna be using this little diffusion panel here. And all this is gonna do is just to soften the light. So we're gonna take this kind of a hard contrasty light and we're gonna soften it just a little bit by using this reflector or this diffusion panel. I say reflector because I'm actually going to be using a reflector below. And so we've got the diffuse beauty dish, it's gonna be bouncing off of this silver reflector. And all that I'm doing with this setup is creating that little extra catch light on the bottom of the eyes that just draws more attention to the face. So let's see what that looks like. Let's talk about the third way that I like using a beauty dish, and that is as a fill light. Now in this particular setup, I'm gonna have it here below. This is gonna be acting somewhat like uh, uh, the reflector that we were using in that second setup, except a lot better because I could actually dial the power up or down in order to provide more or less fill, depending on what my needs are for this shot. So some of the ways that I'll use it, I'll either have it below for fill, or I could actually have it on axis with the model's face. So for example, the beauty dish would actually be like right here and it would go ahead and just provide this frontal light that's just adding a little bit of fill. It's not really acting so much as a main light, but it's also adding a really interesting looking catch light to the eye. So let's take a look and see what this light looks like. Let's talk about the fourth way that I like using beauty dishes, and that's as a hair light or as a kicker light. And so what I've done for this particular setup is I've actually taken the beauty dish and I've put it behind the background. And there are times when I actually use this as a main light where I'll put a white wall or a white V-flat in front of the model. I'll have the light basically behind the model hits the white wall and that light projects back and lights them from the front, but we're not gonna do that for this particular shoot because I do have a main light that I'm using, which is a Pro Photo 5 foot octa. So that beauty dish is acting as a hair light or a separation light. But with that being said, actually, let's go ahead and let's just take a look at it. Let's see what it looks like.
Let's talk about the fifth and the last way that I like to use a beauty dish, and that's to add some extra punch to a existing main light. So in this case, I'm using a five foot Octa from Profoto as the main light. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna have the center of the light to be a little bit of a harder light source to, I don't know, just kind of spice up the shot a little bit. So what I did was I have the Profoto beauty dish here without the diffusion with a silver interior. And this is actually going to kind of reflect and give a lot more light. And it's gonna be a little bit more contrasty than it would be without the five foot octa. So I have the five foot octa as the main light and I've got the beauty dish in the center that's just adding a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punch to the light. And let me show you guys what that looks like. All right, so there you have it. That's five ways that I like to use a beauty dish when I'm shooting in the studio. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I'll be so happy to look through those and to reply back. And while you're here, make sure that you follow Christina, who was so gracious to model for us in this video. Her links are in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. And there's gonna be future episodes that are coming out where I'm gonna be talking about how I use an Okta, how I use an umbrella, how I use soft boxes, strip banks, essentially every uh, modifier that's in the Profoto lineup. I'm gonna show you guys different ways that I like to use them in the studio. So make sure you subscribe while you're here so you'll be notified when those videos come out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.